Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what Micah really does inside of the house once he breaks out of jail during the mission Blessed Are the Meek. So probably one of the most iconic missions in the entire game. Essentially, this is when Dutch tasks Arthur to go help break Micah out of the strawberry jail. Yep. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got an unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? Let's you have... You probably Keep lost your damn man. God damn, maniac! I should have left you to hang! We're in it now, Morgan! What do you want to do? Now, as Arthur is trying to explain to Micah, the two of them need to escape, and they need to get out of Strawberry as quickly as possible. However, for whatever reason, Micah wants to go inside of the town, and he keeps saying that he has some unfinished business. And we eventually see him rush over to Norman's house. Now, you might be wondering who Norman is. Well, Norman was, at one point, an outlaw who became an associate of Micah Bell. And he married a woman named Maddie, and the two of them actually had a son together. And Norman participated in a bank robbery down south along with Micah, which ended poorly for unspecified reasons. And about halfway through the strawberry escape, Micah will actually reach Norman's house where this happens. We really should get out of here. Calm yourself, yeah. woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't Skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Okay, so as you saw there, Micah bangs on the door. He knocks for Skinny, which is the nickname of Norman. He ends up shooting him in the stomach. He goes inside of the house calling for Maddie, and it looks like there's some blood splatter that hits the window. And then Micah comes outside reclaiming his weapons. However, Arthur can't see any of that. He can't actually go inside the house. Like the, There's almost sort of an invisible force field that prevents you from seeing what's going on. So I wanted to see if we could actually get on the inside. And thanks to some PC magic, we actually can. So I replayed the mission again. And here's what happens when we got on the inside. We were actually able to see who Maddie is, which apparently she looks like this. And there's also apparently no animation that happens as well. It's just very awkwardly Micah and Maddie standing next to each other. And then you sort of see a flash of lights and two blood splatters appear 
on the actual window. And you can see here, there's like a full-fledged interior. However, as soon as Micah leaves, the interior ends up disappearing. So how strange is that? Rockstar created the interior of this house only momentarily for about 15 to 20 seconds as a part of this mission, and then it's gone forever. Now, when the interior does disappear, you can sort of see the remains of Maddie underneath the house. Her body just sort of like falls limp and then goes underneath the floorboard. So I guess because Rockstar never uh, anticipated anyone to get inside of the house, they never actually made a, a scene or an animation where, you know, Micah actually shoots Maddie. Now, I'm not sure if this is a specific character for Maddie or if it's just a random female NPC, given the fact that, again, we were never supposed to see what she actually looks like. And we actually tried this a second time, and the exact same thing pretty much occurred. The only difference here is that the NPC that was playing Maddie was dressed a little bit differently, but uh, that's it. And again, once the cutscene is over, you can't really explore the rest of the interior because it instantly disappears. So this was wild, and now I guess we officially know what happens to Maddie and Norman. This is what Micah does on the inside. He just sort of stares at her, blood appears on the wall, he leaves, and the interior completely vanishes, which I did not expect this to happen at all. And then a little bit later on in the mission, Micah actually explains to Arthur why he actually went inside of his house and why he did what he did. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Someone knows so I'm assuming that when Micah was arrested, Norman takes his weapons and then stores them in his house. And we also know he refused to save Micah from being hanged, which strongly suggests he dislikes Micah, along with a handful of other people. Although I'm not sure why he ended up killing his wife, Maddie. That seemed like an unnecessary kill. Maybe that's just the way Micah does things. Who knows? Now what's interesting is later on during the epilogue, there's actually a stranger that may ask John Marston to find their missing dog. And what's interesting is that this individual lives in the same house that Norman did, and he says he lost his family. So it's very likely that this young man is actually Norman's son, and Micah ended up murdering both of them. Where did you run off to? Careful, big man. Hey, mister, have you seen my dog? I I've been looking everywhere for her. She's been gone for hours. Can you help me find her, please? Sure, I'll keep an eye out. She's a foxhound, you know, white and brown. I if you find her, I live in a house on the edge of town. Thank you, mister. Come here, girl. Let's get you home. Oh, your buddy missed you, girl. Thank you, mister. We ain't never spent a night apart. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. Glad I could help. You take care of her now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Not bad. You keep an eye on her, kid. We don't need more trouble from you. I will, here. mister. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> That's a happy dog. That's right. You're a happy dog, ain't you? But anyways, that right there is what happens when Micah enters the house after getting uh, set free from jail in Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, we knew the outcome, but we didn't know how it happened. And it turns out that Rockstar didn't really program anything to happen either. I guess because they never imagined that anyone would actually see it. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more on this in the comments down below. And reach out to me on my Facebook page on what other experiments you would like me to try and solve in-game. Now that we have the game on PC, we can do so many more things like this. So you should definitely know what you'd like me to try. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.